Psalm 31. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your ear to me. Come quickly to my rescue. Be my rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. Since you are my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your name, lead and guide me. Keep me free from the trap that is set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Deliver me, Lord, my faithful God. Psalm 31 is one of those psalms that we turn to in times of stress because it speaks about taking refuge in God. Our God, who is a strong fortress and a rock, he's the one in whom we can put our trust. We often talk about putting our trust in God, but what does that actually mean? In verse 5, David says, into your hands I commit my spirit. The same words that Jesus used on the cross as the, te the temple curtain was torn in two. The same words that, G that Stephen used as he was stoned. Jesus and Stephen used these words as a committal in death. Even in the midst of agony, they are able to call out in trust to God. In the psalm, David uses the same words as a commitment of life. Everything I am is yours, Lord. My whole life is yours, Lord. Amid trials and tribulations, fears and anxieties, poor health and inner turmoil, David is still able to proclaim that God is the source of all hope, trust and confidence. Because we are ultimately accountable to God, our desire should be to live for him and not for ourselves. In these days of isolation and distance, let's continue to live for him. Let's continue to serve him and our fellow human beings. Psalm 31 shows faith arising from the firm conviction that whatever our circumstances, wherever we are, we are not alone. The God who created us stands with us. The psalm offers us words of thankful praise to God for the countless times that we've been touched by his saving and redeeming love. In the moments of his greatest suffering, Jesus took the words of this psalm and made them his own. Can we do that? That's enough evidence to prove that we can trust our God in our hour of deepest need. Let's make those words our own. Amen.